Today I'll be installing a new radio on my 2009 Toyota Corolla. It is a Android head unit, touchscreen, 9.1 inch screen. It is a plug and play system for the Corolla. So here's a short little unboxing of it. Comes with all the accessories you need to get you going. To install the radio, you just need to take apart the clips around the radio, which there is four bezel pieces on the sides of the radio that are just clipped in. You just gotta pry them back. And there is a few Phillips screws and then a couple 10 millimeter bolts. I already had an aftermarket radio in my car, so the wiring might look a little different, but all the harnesses and everything should still be the same. Here's the new head unit. It is a Benai's touchscreen display. I bought it from Amazon. It is all plug and play for the Corolla. It comes with all the plugs you need. It comes with a plug for a backup camera if you want to install one. It comes with all the RCA jacks and says it works for it with the steering wheel controls but I can't tell because I don't have any steering wheel controls. Also comes with the antenna to plug in for the radio. And two other USBs for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Make sure you grab a soft drag or something to lay the screen on if you need to so it's easier to plug in everything. You don't want to scratch up the display. I'm just going to turn on the accessory power for the car real quick just to make sure the screen is working and being responsive. Also test the radio, make sure the antenna is working good too. After I made sure everything was working good, I ran all the wires. I ran the two USBs in the upper glove box. I drilled this the small hole in the corner over there. And then I made sure all the wires were tucked good up behind the radio so nothing would get caught. And then the radio doesn't actually screw in anything. It just clips in a little bit in the four prongs right there. And then everything clips up around it. So let's get everything put up back together and make sure everything's looking good. And the GPS, I just left it on the dashboard for right now because I'm not exactly sure where I want to mount it. So I'm just going to leave it there with a little bit of wire hanging out right now.
So I'm gonna turn the car on all the way again, just to make sure all the wires are good and they don't get loosened up, make sure the Bluetooth is working and all the radio features are working again. Here's some shots of it completed with everything back together and having Apple CarPlay running. 